Hey guys, me and Alex are back with some more candy tasting and this week we have another American candy box sent from a subscriber. Yeah, called Michael. Called Michael. And that's all Kate would let me say in that whole intro. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's Michael, however here he's put his name as Mike. We've had a sneak peek into this <laughs> box, haven't we? This box looks so epic and so exactly. different to anything we've ever done. Michael, Mike, Mike. <laughs> has gone above and beyond. And he has provided he's us packing phone. Yeah, he has. I think he's provided us with a bit of a time hop. Oh, this Do you one. This yeah. one. So here's our letter, and then we've actually got some photos. Do you want to have yeah. a open of that? And then inside we have bags of grouped things with a letter in each one. And I didn't even know people got photos printed anymore. No, but they might be. Well, hopefully they're ones you got printed. Otherwise, we'd. We literally have your memories. Oh my word, look at this. Oh, they've all got things on the back. <gasps> oh my word. What America is really known for is not McDonald's or Starbucks, but cars. This classic car show, any car that is at least 20 years old is considered a classic car. Uh, We've got a photo of a Walmart. White Trash Mart. I hate this place. <laughs> it's so big, I get a headache when I'm there. <laughs> God, Michael, you've literally... Isn't this incredible? This is amazing. Dear Kate, I saw you on your YouTube channel doing your American candy taste test. I thought, great, let me send Kate's Kitchen <laughs> the same type of candy I used to enjoy as a kid growing up during the 70s and 80s. Yep. Enjoy my personal time capsule candy box from me to you. This is amazing. I also enclosed a lot of pictures of my small town and the surrounding areas in upstate New York where I live. You thought it was upstate, I did. didn't you? Upstate New York. Our sister actually did an American camp in upstate New York. Let me know if you've ever heard of it. It was called, called Long, Long Lake, Lake camp, camp of, of the, the Arts. Arts. Camp she, for the Arts? Camp. Isn't it of the art? Camp of the art. Or is Long, it for the art? I don't know. Okay, anyway, nice. it's Long Lake. America's best kept secret is her small towns that are far away from the big cities. Up where I live are all the craft fairs, all summer camps, summer camps, summer camps, car shows, national parks, and hundreds of miles of nature trails. Everybody up here where I live truly Lee believes, as well as I do, that we live in the best part of New York State. It's called the Hudson Valley. How nice. Warning, each bag contains instructions and a small synopsis of each item in the bag. Read carefully. Sincerely, Michael. And then he's put a picture here. This is me at Stonehenge in July of 1992. I was born September 1992, just in case they've moved some of the rocks. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, is incredible. So cool. I've just been looking through all these photos. I wonder if these are photos he's taken over the years and he's just given us a selection. Yeah, I can't... Or whether he's gone out and taken them specifically. These are so cool. We're, um... It gives us such a, oh, look at this sporty number. So many, I guess you're into cars. It yeah. just gives us a bit more of an insight, doesn't yeah. it? So we're gonna crack onto the candy. Is that an upside down ice cream? I think it is. <laughs> What's it say? Because it's so thick. All oh, right. Ice cream, this is called a blizzard made with a Butterfingers bar. Blizzards are from Dairy Queen. Someone else's uh, message saying, have you tried Dairy Queen? They take vanilla ice cream, whip it up nice and thick, and they put in a shredded Butterfinger candy bar in it. You can have any kind of candy bar or cookie. I just love Butterfinger bars. As you can see, the ice cream is so thick, you can hold it upside down. <laughs> oh my word, they even, he even has the school He's he went school. to. That is amazing. That's so cool. I'm going to have a sit and a read of every single photo after this video. Yeah, definitely. But I hear we've got instructions. Time capsule, did he call it? That's yeah. awesome. Well, that's good. They're numbered. Yeah. So this is big bag number I, one. Do you want me to open it? <laughs> that is huge. That's amazing. Oh, look at this. Sorry, sorry. We've got a DVD. What? What is it? <laughs> Caddyshack. Let us know if you've watched this film. This looks like such a classic American 20th film. 20th anniversary. And now it's probably... The snobs against the slobs. Look, there's like a hamster or what's that? Oh, thank you so that. much for that. This we'll is have so to watch cool. That. Oh, they're candy. I thought they were a box of cards. I thought you sent us some cigarettes for a second. Well, you've got to try these of American cigarettes, cigarettes. Candy cigarettes. Back in the olden days, you could smoke almost everywhere. Smoking was considered only a bad habit and not an addiction. 
Candy cigarettes were made and sold so kids could feel grown up and look cool. I love candy cigarettes for this idea that I looked cool and grown up. So if you think it's kind of messed up to make candy cigarettes for kids just to make them think they look cool pretending to be smoking, you would be right. But it truly was a different time. My parents never smoked and amongst my peer group that was rare. As for me, I never graduated to the real thing because just like the real thing, candy cigarettes tasted like crap. Ooh. That's so funny, they're literally like, they're, it's just These are powder. powdered sugar. Where, um, our ones are really, like... Chewy. Like, snappy. No, ours are chewy. But, or oh, I suppose at the fair they're out in the cold. Mm. But we've got a double whammy. You You're have to shoot whammy. to get your cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's very American, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, the connection here is candy cigarettes, bubblegum cigars, licorice pipes, and big, loo big league chew. Mm. You know, tobacco chew. I don't know what Baby Ruth's got to do with it. Well, that's to do with oh, baseball, is it? Baby Ruth in Caddyshack the movie, right. Oh, are these all in Caddyshack the I movie? I think all to do with Caddyshack, maybe. Or is this maybe? just all around the same time? Maybe. Oh, look at this. It's a boy. So these are bubblegum cigars. Just like the cigarettes, the idea was you're grown up or you look so cool. These days you cannot smoke anywhere, so therefore the cigars say it's a girl and it's a boy. How funny. In America years ago, you would give the new father a cigar at the birth of a child as a form of congratulations. Yeah. That's really cool, the um, mm. cigars, isn't it? El Bubble Bubblegum. So I'll sure. have the girl. And I'll have the boy. Mmm. Oh, quite cool. Mm. Strawberry. Oh, yes. what's it? Parsley? Mmm, maybe, yeah. I am. Um, it's a really hard, chewy, isn't it? Mm. Really I really like that flavour. Really got to work it. That flavour's like something I've had mm. before. That's a good idea, having a chewing gum in a stick, isn't it? Yeah, well, we've had it in a little bag, mm. so why not in a stick? Okay. Right, so should we try some of this big league? Okay, the so... The official bubble gum of Ripken Baseball. How funny. I've seen these before. Definitely have. have. Baseball is the great American pastime, and back in the day before Michael Jordan and, the, and Tiger Woods, every kid wanted to be a baseball player. However, one of the biggest problems in paradise was a lot of the popular baseball players chewed tobacco. Chewing tobacco, also known as dipping, I didn't know that, was nothing more than chewable nicotine, simply smokeless cigarettes, to emulate their favourite sports stars. <laughs> the kids started to chew tobacco. In the 1980s, there was a very publicised story about a young man, a baseball player prodigy, who started dipping when he was a teenager. Then as a young adult, he contracted mouth cancer and died at 26. Ooh due to his chewing tobacco use. The big league chew was invented in the hope to get kids to chew bubble gum and not tobacco. That's so good. The gum is put into a pouch to simulate the real packaging of chewing tobacco. The gum is also shredded just like the real look of chewing gum tobacco. Chewing tobacco. This stuff was my favorite, great flavor, and you always thought that you got more gum for your money than the usual five piece pack of Hubba Bubba. There's so That's much gum true. in there. I feel like you've, oh wow, it really is shredded, isn't it? Mm, very cool. I like that. The flavour is really good, isn't it? Ground ball grape. It's like powdery. Mm. Like Hubba Bubba. Oh wow. That flavour's delicious. Mm, really good. If I um if I had this in England growing up, I feel like In New England. If we sold this in England, I feel mm. like You'd have got that. I would have bought this. Licorice pipes. You can't have candy cigarettes and bubblegum cigars without licorice pipes. Are we gonna try that? Yeah. Let's just try it. It'll one, be interesting though. to see um what it's like. What it's like compared to... Swedish What licorice. do we have? No. Twizzlers. Is it hard? Mm. Oh yeah, that's quite good actually. Eh? Oh, I think I got stuck on our tooth. Mm. That's pretty good. Because mm. we didn't really like Twizzlers, did we? Got that. It was nice. Oh, so. I bet the black one's a lot stronger. Are we going to pop into this baby roof? Now everyone knows we've already had a baby roof, but we've should we have a bite three. eat? I think so. But it's been a while. And while I breed. Yes, this year is 1980 and one of the most funny and iconic movies of the 1980s is Born. In this movie, there is a very famous pool scene in the film including a Baby Ruth candy bar. After the movie was out, everybody was t talking about the pool scene in the film and suddenly the Baby Ruth candy bar disappeared from the marketplace. Oh. Many people believe the movie Caddyshack had something to do with it. So you can watch the whole movie or you can go to the scene selection and pick scene 15, everybody out. Oh, thanks for picking that. Then when you have watched the scene and suddenly don't want to eat the baby Ruth, go and give the movie and the candy bar to one of your friends. Tell them to see the pool scene 
and when they don't wish to eat the baby Ruth, tell them to take the whole package to their friends and so on. Why do we not want to eat a... I don't know. Do I go on YouTube? put it on now? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's instead of a poo. <laughs> White packaging. White packaging. I really want to know what this film is about. Really, now. The funny thing is, I don't think it would actually float. No. Though. <laughs> Are you gonna eat it? It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it stops there. The no pool cleaner eats it. That's so funny. But you Lid still wouldn't like, eat it after it's been on all that chlorine. No. Oh, that was so good. Baby Ruth is one of my favourite American chocolate bars, I think. Baby Ruth is one of my favourite all-time American baseball players. <laughs> I mean chocolate bars. <laughs> that was so good. Bag mm. one, excellent. Big, Big bag, bag two. two. Here we go. Got Laffy Taffy, Charm Pops, Whistle Pops, Smarties, Boston Fruit Slices, Dots, Tops, Baseball Cards. And good and plenty. Oh my word, this is awesome. We Plus have yet things. to try dots. Ooh, can we try this thing? Yes. What is it? Is it just this one? It's just like a jelly thing. It's so called, he's this only is told a, us. This is a Boston fruit slice or something. <gasps> no way. So this is a Boston fruit slice. Candy that looks like cut fruit. Although I'm not sure what fruit, oh right, is blue in the blue. middle. Blue, is that trying to be like a watermelon or something? Maybe. So this is obviously an orange. That looks cool. I used to get stuff like this from Thornton's. Oh, that looked like I had a nice bite. Oh, mm, that's so mm. good. The orange flavour is delicious. Mm. If you live anywhere with a Thornton's chocolate mm. and you ever used to get jelly spiders, mm. that's literally the same flavour. That's so cool, isn't it? That tastes so good. Should and we, we try have this blue so one? many more. Yeah, yeah let's try, try the blue. The outside of this blue one tastes, feels harder. Well, that felt a bit hard, like, um, what's Actually, like the, the rind. The rind, yeah. that's one. Yeah. Mmm, that's really good. Blue raspberry. Mmm. Okay, so we've got a few Laffy Taffies here. Laffy Taffies. Now, we've Although actually... Although we've only had the long ones, haven't we? Yeah, never in this form. This is like form. a little, so like, individual Flavours we've got are strawberry, grape, sour apple and banana. We have actually tried banana already, haven't we? Yeah, so let's so, try the strawberry one, okay. that's nice. What do you call a pig that does karate? A lamb chop. Pork chop. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lamb chop. Mm. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be really hard. Mine really about flavor. Laffy Taffy has changed. Mm. What type of data has a band? Don't know. Gigabyte. Why did the PC go to the dock? Don't know. It had a virus. <laughs> what is a buccaneer? Is it like a bit like a pirate, someone who goes adventuring? Expensive corn. <laughs> Do you get that? Yeah, an ear. An ear of corn. How do you get an alien baby to sleep? Zap it. You rock it. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of, but that strawberry is delicious, it. isn't it? Mm. This much... literally looks like you bought it 20 years ago. Yeah. Mike, did you buy these 20 years ago? Are they from a vintage <laughs> store? Or is this just how they still look? 15 picture cards, one stick of bubblegum. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Loads of like kids would rather that though, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at these cards. That's, oh, and a broken stick of bubblegum. And I'm the stick's try it, like not even um, wrapped up. Did he buy these 20 years ago? I think so, from how hard that is. <laughs> Literally just dissolved in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please let us know when you bought these. Oh my word. Harold Reynolds. Oh my god. Not nice. Tastes like shoe polish. <laughs> Anyone tell me if you remember any of these people? Brett Saberhagen, New York Yankees. Ron Goodry. Good dry. Oh, the Giants. Chris Brown. That's Chris Brown. Chris Brown. He plays for the Giants. <laughs> Very cool. That is so cool. Me and Kay actually went to a baseball game. It was the Mets, it was in New York. And I got a foam cool. finger. I yeah. wanted a foam finger and a dog. my whole life, and I finally got one. Also, going back to the Laffy Taffy, they were really good, weren't they? Oh, the I Laffy really Taffy was really good, yeah. So, Tops is a bubblegum company who came up with an idea to sell its gum by putting pictures of baseball players on cards during the 70s and 80s. 
Collecting old baseball cards was very big business. Many of these cards were worth a lot of money. Mm. Baseball card collecting was to kids, what stamps collecting was for adults. However, now these days, the market for baseball cards is virtually worthless. The two card packets in this bag are from the year 1986. And if you press and feel it in the middle of the packet, you'll feel a little bump. That little bump is a stick of gum, a 32 year old stick of gum. Enjoy. <laughs> I ate a chunk of a 32 year old <laughs> stick of gum. 2 old stick of gum. Oh my god. Good and plenty. I think this is the only candy from my childhood that still holds up. This candy has always stayed the same. They have never changed the recipe or the packaging. I just love black licorice. licorice. <laughs> <laughs> I love licious. black licious. I see you have tried Twizzlers. I used to love them as well, but now the red kind cherry flavor tastes like plastic dipped in sugar. Look oh, yeah. what it's like in the middle. I feel like, do you not think Mike and I could try and copy you? That flavor is nice. I like that style of licorice. And um, we have something over here called Black Jacks. I've never had Black Jacks. Black Jacks and fruit salad. Do you not remember? No. They're like little squares and that tastes like our Black Jacks. Well, that's actually really nice licorice. I like that flavor. Okay, Whistle Pop. A lollipop that is also a whistle. Now we actually used to have these as, yeah. a, as kids, from didn't we? Chops. Should we have a little whistle? Apparently if you want these, you can get them from Asda and Tesco's. Is there a song on there here? Oh, there's song. the music. Let me get the music out and we'll start playing a little tune together. The song I've got is Sur le Pont de Avignon. Oh, I've got Jingle Bells. Oh. Now that's where it ends. <laughs> I wish I knew um, what this song was so I could have an idea. This goes. It's because it's not an exact science, you're just moving it in a little bit and out a little bit, aren't you? That's the thing, you almost need the, the numbers, numbers out, to stand yeah. up. That's an excellent mm, piece that of is fun. fun, isn't it? The flavour is also lovely, isn't and it? And have you heard of these charm pops? Well, they're like charms the same is kind the of thing. brand, they're called blow pops. So I just said, wasn't it? No, you said charms. Have you yeah, ever charms heard of charm blow, charms blow pops? Oh, didn't hear you say blow. You didn't. Let's roll that back. Let's get an action replay. <laughs> and no. have you heard of these Charm Pops? Charms was the brand that Liz sent us some lollies from. Ah, the 4th nice. of July ones and the mini ones are cotton candy. Oh, there's uh, nothing to blow on there though. No, because you wait till the middle. And do you know what? what so many middle? people, you've got the chewing gum. You've had these, haven't you? I used to get these when we used to travel in America. They're kind of soft on the So outside. these are hard and then lolly and then inside is chewing gum, mm. I believe. Sour apple. That's good, it tasted so bad. I, didn't I want the watermelon. Oh, there was watermelon. You snooze, you lose. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's nice. Good flavour. That's delicious. That's not particularly cherry, though. Usually cherry's quite strong in America, the flavour. Have you seen who these dots are by? Yeah. Tootsie. Tootsie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look, they kind of, on the picture here, look like the things you put in your coffee machine, those little pods. Yeah. But obviously they're a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. Flavours are strawberry, lemon, cherry, lime and orange. Well, of course. Pack tight, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. London chew. So I know there is bubble gum in there. And I'm going to finish that later. Mm. 10 out of 10, that lolly. Really? 10 out of 10 for that, yeah. Mm, it was a watermelon. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to like these. Really? Yeah. See... Tootsie might have redeemed themselves with you. For some reason... When I've seen tots on pictures and films, they always look really hard, but they're not actually that hard. It's very soft. Oh, wow. I feel like I've missed out mm. on years of dots because I always saw these, but they looked hard to me. It's okay, because if you'd had them, you'd be way fatter than you are now. <laughs> so it's probably for the best. I think no. Ooh, that one was great. What flavor was that? What color do you have? Strawberry. Yeah, maybe I haven't had a strawberry Strawberry's yet. the best. I think they are up there with some of the best American candy we've tasted, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Oh, next time I'm in America, I'm getting some dots. Mm. Delicious. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What? 
I'm gonna get some dots. You went D, and I thought you were gonna go O T S. D O T S, but you went D delicious. Absolutely amazing. The softest chew, but they're not stuck in your teeth, are they? No. <laughs> Smarties, great. We got a lot of these in our trick or treat bags when I was a kid at Halloween. No mm. way. We have tried Smarties before. Yeah. Should we try another one? Mm. You crunch these or suck on these? I crunch. Do you know what? Mm. We tried some of these before, but they were small. They small, were small. I prefer these. Big ones are definitely better. There's more to it. The little yeah. ones are like sunk in the middle. They're peddling. much better. Okay, favorite from that one, I would say was the dots. watermelon blow pop no, the and dots the dots. Fantastic. Ooh, but then so were the Lappy Tappies and so were the um, Boston fruit slices. What a great bag. Oh, with the Boston fruit slices yep. in there as well. Yep. I just think this is hilarious. Big bag number three, crap bag. <laughs> so he obviously thinks this bag is rubbish. So 100 grand does not live up to the hype. They should move the decimal point six places to the left, and that's where this candy bar should live. <laughs> Which is funny because we called it a five, five grand bar. We before. called it a five grand. So we dropped. The we couldn't remember point. the name. I thought we quite liked it, didn't we? This is like a toffee crisp, but the other other yeah, way we're around. Have to go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. I, I feel like we did enjoy this. Do you want one? Oh, we they're actually two. Yeah. That's cute. Cute. Wish I could get it. Mm. Sorry, Mike. We're gonna have to disagree on this one. Although, <laughs> I feel like there's more chocolate on that one than the one we had originally. At first, the chocolate was a little bit like, ooh, not that nice, but actually, mix that together with the crispies and the caramel. Mm. And it's cute the way you get little two bars. Ah, uh -huh. oh, delicious. Right, sorry, sorry Michael, we will not be <laughs> agreeing with you with the 100 gram bar. Mm. Oh, this is so funny. I love these comments. Gummy bears, yuck. Tastes like flavoured rubber. I guess this is what a tyre would taste like. Where's gummy bears? Here. No, oh, these ones. We actually get gummy bears over mm. here. Surely they'll be the same. Should we try one? Yeah, maybe I'll try one. Tastes like cinnamon. I think it's because of that. I, just, oh, I don't like that. You don't. Texture. I think they're nice. And what I love about these is that like the cinnamon. green is not lime. It's apple. Mm. Wax lips. If you ever wanted to know what a sugary candle tastes like, <laughs> here is your chance. And there's Pucker two. Pete. Should we put them on? Yeah. Fuck a peach. Don't forget to let us know if you have had these candies. Yeah, and whether you agree or disagree. Yeah. This what? is so waxy. Oh my word. No. no, no, no. no. Wrong way up. Hello. 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 What is this? I don't know. I don't even feel like you can eat it. I think it's too waxy. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, Are you meant to eat this? Her wax lips never interrupt her constant chit chat, whether talking to family, friends, herself, or her cat. And this is Pucker Pete. Pudding, pancakes, pizza pie. He is wacko about food. These wax lips are what puts Pete in the best mood. Do eat them? Have you read? I don't know if you do. Refined, Refined wax, wax sugar, sugar, artificial flavors. Play That's now, weird. chew later. Is it like chewing gum? Maybe. That seems too odd. I'm not going to eat that. Oh my word! How is that a product? Is it literally wax? Have? That is vile. Is it? Huh. I'm literally eating wax. <laughs> That's, yeah, I agree with you there. Okay, York. Dark chocolate oh. covered peppermint patty. Don't like peppermint candy and this bar made my mouth cold. <laughs> peppermint does that though, doesn't it? I don't like peppermint candy really. I don't particularly like pep peppermint and chocolate only after eights. Also, we don't really get patties over here, do we? No. Well, we do. Like at McDonald's, what you have on your burger is a patty, but we don't call it that, do we? That's quite no. an American thing. You just call it a burger. Like, we've never had something like that. That's not bad. Mm, quite right, right, actually. I <laughs> don't like peppermint candy, and this bar made my mouth cold. <laughs> Considering I don't like mint chocolate. That's actually really that's good. That's actually really good. Mm. I quite like that. Okay, Tootsie Pops. Crap. <laughs> Tootsie Pops. I would agree with you. I you would make way agree to the middle? with you. I need to make my way to the middle because so many people commented saying there's a centre. So how about every time we're mid-talk or whatever, 
I'll just keep sucking. Mm. Peanut chews. For me, this was the most dreaded candy bar in the trick or treat bag. Uh. I I just would throw them away. Nobody liked them. You couldn't even trade something else for them. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, peanut chews. Cheers. Oh, yeah, they're not good, are they? We're trying to be a baby Ruth. Oh! No. It's a hundred the anniversary. Then. Nice. Oh, no, mm. baby. Who's it made by? I think they're just uh, Goldenbergs. I've heard of that. I think they're just too chewy and for the size of them, the bits of peanut are too big. Not enough caramel and mm. it's dark chocolate. Red and white peppermint candy. Yuck. <laughs> you are so funny. Isn't this funny? Yeah. It's nice though, because even though you don't like the stuff, it's awesome to try. Cheers. Cheers. Well, in some ways, it's really fun to see why someone doesn't like something. Yeah. Whereas normally people send us stuff they like. They like. And also, just because you don't like them doesn't mean we yeah. don't want to try and experience them. And the... that's so interesting because there's some stuff we're like, yeah, totally agree. I don't like mm. that either. No, no. And other stuff we're like, no, I really like that. These. I love I these. I take it you're not into peppermint. But these remind me of staying at a hotel when I was a child and having them on like the reception. This reminds me of going, yeah. To, to was it Florida? Hotel. No, I was going to say like Florida. When Remember that Christmas when we were kids? Disneyland. Went to Florida. Right. And they had like these at there. Mm. I can't remember that. If you like peppermint candy, that's literally like that. what it is. Because that reminds like me that. of candy canes. Yeah, you like that. It reminds me oh, of New York. That flavour is just of a candy cane, isn't mm. it? Big Red. Are we going to try this? Yes. Do you know what this reminds me? Let me know if you've watched this. My I'm dad. still oh. Big Red. <laughs> bring it on the music. Bring it on the movie. Yeah. Um, I'm popular I, to boot. And her, good looking, and great hair. hair. The, the boys, boys don't want to stare. stare. I'm honest. I'm hot. I'm everything. They're not. <laughs> We're pretty. We're cool. We, we dominate, dominate the, the school. school. Who am I? Just, Just guess. guess. Guys want to touch my chest. chest. I rock it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Is, is this cinnamon? Yeah, it's, I think it's going to be quite spicy. Oh, wow. Mmm. I'm it that isn't too. Yes, it is. Oh, Keep it chewing. Is, yeah. huh. They are big and they are red. <laughs> Woo! What does it's he not say quite about as bad as Kate's saying. Oh, it says here. This is hot gum. Hate it. But back in the day, they had a very catchy TV commercial. Mm. We'll have to check that one out. It is spicy. Yeah, it is. For a chewing gum. Yeah. And considering I'm a former. She's a former. I'm a former. Like someone like Dad would love that, wouldn't he? Probably. If you're really into that, a chewing gum would be amazing. Just having that constant flavour. Spice, yeah. Okay, last in this bag is coloured dots. Looks like someone tried to make bird droppings into candy. You must yeah. pick the dot off the paper with your nails, and in the process, you get more paper than candy, and it's the paper you taste the most. <laughs> I just don't understand this as a product. It's so fiddly. Like, you want to be able to actually bite I think something, it's a, not... What's the word? It's a gimmick, isn't it? It's definitely a gimmick. Like, kids, for some reason, like gimmick don't, things, don't oh they? Oh, yeah, they're so stuck on. I, I think there's they're a... so crunchy. What's the shop called in America? Sugar. Yeah, sugar. It's sugar, sugar. or something. They always had these, and for yeah. some reason, I always did want to taste them. You'll have to get your piece of paper back out because you've missed one. This is so weird. Cinnamon yeah, flavor Yeah, you candy. literally get so much paper on there. Cinnamon. Fireballs. Fireballs. Get your fireballs out. I hate any type of hot candy. It just makes no sense to me. Me too, my me, me too. Me neither. During the July 4th parade, the people marching in the parade would throw candy to the spectators. That could be dangerous. They're hard, aren't they? Mm. All of us kids would that run was out. Health and safety. <laughs> would run out and grab all the candy we could get our hands on. But I would leave the fireballs on the side of the curb. <laughs> He's comical, isn't he? Yeah, I love the the littering. It's just like trying to give away free sweets. Yeah. And actually, we've ended up littering. Fireball. Get your fireballs out. Cheers. Oh, you're Did it split in half? Yeah, That's why right, I don't that. get that. Perfectly split into. Well, that answers my question. What? And I was going to say, break? I wonder if this is a, a like a gobstopper. Oh wow! It's like a tree. You can see all the rings. Mm. Oh, maybe put your tongue on that. I thought that was my tongue bleeding then for a minute. <laughs> oh, that's, that's getting hot. Sad. That's getting so hot. Hot tamale. Like, give it a good. Is, yeah, no, hot. The middle, the or is it the outside? It's the outside. That's horrible. Give me a second. I just don't know why you'd um, have that as a, a candy. The big bag three. Big bag three. 
Juji fruits. Another one of my favorite candies. Also another one that I would choose over popcorn at the movies. But most important, when I was a kid during the late 70s and early 80s, my friend and I would play Doctor Who. At this time frame, 1978 to 82, Tom Baker was Doctor Who. He's my favorite. The doctor would always go around handing out little candies called Jelly Babies. Now I would go to the store and look frantically to see if they had Jelly Babies. And of course I never found any. But to me, the Juji Fruit candies look very similar to Doctor Who's Jelly Babies and that's what was used. They do, don't Is they? Is Doctor Who always British? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Did we enjoy these? Yes, but the black one's licorice, just remember. Is it? Anise. Oh sorry, that's one. Like star I anise. think I prefer Doctor these though. Yeah, so do I now, but I mean these were quite good when we tried them, weren't they? With Doctor a ten, these are probably a These eight. are less chewy than the other ones. Mm. I hope it's a quail. I just got a uh, lime, I think. Mm. It wasn't that great. These get stuck in your teeth much more mm. than um, the dots. The dots. Okay, should we get Hershey's out of the way? Because it's yeah. this next. <coughs> oh, miniatures. Hershey's miniatures. These little candy bars were a favourite in the trick or treat bag as well. My favourite is the crackle. Oh, are they all Hershey's? Yeah, just different. Mmm. Here's what you do, crackle. You take the crackle and dip it in peanut butter and then eat it. It's the best. This works with the Hershey's bar as well. Mr. Good Bar is pretty good too, but when I was a kid, I did not like the Hershey's special chocolate. It was way too rich for me. So has this got popping candy in or just crunchy bits? This has just got, oh, I've got this peanut one. Oh, I got crackle. Oh, I got Mr. Good Nuts. That's not actually as bad as just Hershey's on its own. I prefer Hershey's Crackle to Hershey's. Hershey's Crackle is less sickly. Mm. And Mr. Good, like, when Hershey's has got something with it, it's so much better, isn't mm. it? Special dark, mm. mildly sweet chocolate. See, this is what we talk about. Why do you want mildly sweet chocolate? Better than normal Hershey's, but it still tastes like cooking chocolate. Yeah, it does taste like cooking chocolate. I would say my favourite one out of there was the Crackle Bar. I actually quite like that, considering mm. it was Hershey's. And then the Mr. Good Bar. No, I'd say I like the Hershey's Crackle, then the Special, then the... Oh, really? Because you like dark chocolate, though. Yeah. Three Musketeers. Yes. I've seen you guys eat this candy bar on your show. Oh, your show. We've you got our don't own show. eat it correctly. Here is how you eat a Three Musketeers correctly, especially in the summertime. You must stick the two bars in the freezer for at least three hours, then you suck on them like ice cream pops. Okay then. No way. We'll have right, to... Well, we'll be doing that then. Shame we didn't know that three hours ago. Yeah. Okay, payday, we've had this. And this candy bar is most likely the only somewhat nutritional thing in the bag. The peanuts have protein in them, but for the most part, <laughs> this candy is a soft form of peanut brittle. That's true, actually. Isn't Do you know it? who else loves this? Who? Matt. <laughs> he doesn't really. Matt does not like it. No, He's especially not the king peanut. size ones. Isn't that funny that it's by Hershey's, but it's got not yeah. a single bit of chocolate yeah, on? Yeah, that's why Maybe it's good. Maybe they listen to their viewers. That's why it's good. <laughs> Last no, but not. No, that's been going a lot oh. longer than we have. Yeah. Symphony. This is a very special chocolate bar from Hershey and is very similar to Cadbury's chocolate bar. Mike, come on. <laughs> very Mike, we're going to send you some chocolate so you'll see. We've already said not... you probably would have eaten it by oh, now. Oh, really? Very creamy and not too sweet. I swear Sym Symphony had I think it's something in... in it. No, so we've got Symphony, I think, is a posh Hershey's bar. Mm. So this is Symphony Plain, is it? Mm. But we had Symphony Almond and... Almond. <laughs> so much better. Much better than normal Hershey's. That's, you can al taste that's almost some... enjoyable. Oh, you, you know can... what we should do, look? Well, I've still got that thought in my head. You can taste some milk in that. That's what... Mmm. It's not even that the initial flavour of that is particularly bad. It's the that's aftertaste. That's on par with other countries. And it's the aftertaste. The whole time I'm getting this like sickly taste in the mm -hmm. back of my mouth. These are great. <laughs> they taste like sugary oranges. Hold them up. Don't you think they look like the ones from the Mexican? I don't remember having orange slices and it even like looks a little bit slices. on the corners like they've got the rind. Yeah, thank you. Are these going to be like the um, Austin slices? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, let's try again. They're really good. 
They're nice, although slightly artificial. Hmm. I think if I had to pick between that and a Boston slice, you'd have the Boston I'd go slice. Boston slice. Good though. I can't get over. Yeah, very good. That Hershey Symphony. That's I can now really understand good. why people say they like Hershey's. Maybe that, that first bad. one was right. Maybe the one we had before was just. No, but you tried this one. We preferred the other Hershey Symphony last time. Yeah, but time. I don't remember liking it as much as I like it this time. No. Is that everything? Oh, everything. So much stuff. Woo. And now I can't believe it's all over. Well, it is now, Jeff. Well, it's nice that they're all grouped together. And I love that bag of things he didn't like. And also, all the photos you sent, yeah. which ga gave us a real feel of and what it's like. And the time and effort it would have taken you to mm. write all of that out and print it and stick it on the back. Yeah. Thank you so much. We what really do appreciate it. Uh, by the time this video has gone live, we have actually sent you a box of uh, British candy. Mm. So do let us know what you thought of it and what you liked. Um, but yeah, and if anyone else would like a box of British candy, you can check it out down there or linked up there. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it. I thought it was so awesome. It was almost like not trying food. We yeah. were just trying bits of his memories. That was really was good. Awesome. Even the bad things I enjoyed. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't want to buy a British candy box, but you would like to support us, then we've actually got a link down below to our Patreon, which you can check out. Yes. And there's some cool things that you get as extras there. Yeah you'll get all the same things you get on this channel. Nothing yeah. is changing. It's just, if you like what we do and you want to say, you guys are awesome, <laughs> just click down there. <laughs> it's like a tip box. <laughs> yeah, it's a tip jar. <laughs> there are a couple of benefits that you'll get by doing this. We yeah. won't give you nothing for it. No. So um, if you head down there, check it out and you'll be able yeah. to find out. Just have a look and see. But we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you all very soon. Bye guys. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.